Okay, guys, so there's a video made it in the about Creekcraft, and he made something about Roblox audio. Oh no. Okay, so yesterday I made a video talking about the new Roblox update. The one that's gonna be deleting all audio on the platform. All audio? Are you kidding me? How are you gonna play Roblox like this? Like all the freaking games. Like, like look at all the games, dude. Look at all these games. Oh. Roblox is in big trouble. All of an atmosphere finds out. Form in about two weeks, March 22nd to be exact. And well, today, one day later, I've got some more information. And I was kind of hoping the situation was going to get better, but actually, it's kind of getting worse. How's it getting worse? I'll explain everything in this video. Now, for the people that didn't see yesterday's video or you don't know what. Yeah, I didn't see. Yesterday's video. I don't know what's going on, Creecraft. What's going on? Basically, Roblox put out a post on the Roblox developer forum saying that on March 22nd, any new audio or sound effects or music that gets uploaded to the platform will automatically be set to private and. It's set to private. It's set to private! How, how are we gonna play Roblox, sir? <sighs> it is well all existing audio on the platform that's over six seconds long will also be set to private with it. Bro, all audios! Are you kidding me? All the audios I bought from my game is gonna get deleted? <sighs> no way to set it back to public. This is essentially just the Are you kidding me, dude? Roblox, don't! Deleting the audio. Now, as you might imagine, this puts a lot of games at risk. Because if developers don't make the adequate changes in time for this deadline, March 22nd, a lot of Roblox games will be going completely mute. Like, like, literally just blanked. No music at all. You cannot hear anything at all. None at all. How are we gonna play Roblox like this? Dude. There will be no sound, nothing on a lot of- uh, uh, This is not a troll, alright? Just look at the description. This is literally- It literally just came out like a few seconds ago. Okay. Like, literally. Like, like- uh, Let's just watch the whole video, I'll show all you when the video ends. ...of Roblox games. Games like Roblox Piggy. Yeah, like Piggy. But what are you gonna do by Piggy? Well, I mean, the Piggy audio sound effects is made by the Minuton Creator, but either the Escape Door is made by a Creator as well, or either the sound effects of the doors is made by him as well. But I think, I think he's a lazy and he, he, he did. What's gonna happen to the jump scares? What's gonna happen to the music? Like, what's gonna happen? Uh, I don't know. It's just gonna uh, be blank and no music at all. I don't know. Speaking of music, what's gonna happen to game? Oh god, Funky Friday. One of my freaking favorite games that are gonna get deleted in two weeks. Games like Funky Friday. Roblox also mentioned in their post that all the music and sound effects you use in your game now have to be owned by you. None of them. Owned by me. Bruh. Don't tell me that this is gonna be assembled, Roblox. I'm gonna get a lot of hate on you, Roblox, if you do this. The music in this game is owned by the developers, so what's gonna happen? Is this game just gonna disappear off of Roblox? Is it just gonna be broke? Yo, did, did he literally just repeat his sketches video? Seriously, Kukraft? We'll get on March 22nd. Unfortunately, I don't really have an answer, but you can come. Uh, I know you don't have an answer, dude. Trying to see where the problem is. And on top of that, any games that are older and the developers don't actively work on them anymore, they will just be permanently muted and... Yeah, permanently muted and no one will like the game at all. And broken, and a lot of them may not even work properly anymore. And there's just... Like the scripts and stuff. Like, like when you play the music, when, uh, like... Like, you made a script, like, play music and stuff. Yeah, their, their game is gonna get literally just muted. 
there's really nothing we can do about it. Now, to say a lot of people have been angry at Roblox about this would be an understatement. That dev forum post that I mentioned earlier in the video, well, it's actually got over 2,400 replies at the time of this video. And what? Let's Almost every single reply is a Roblox developer that is extremely angry and concerned about these changes. And it's the same- Oh god. Everyone's angry that plays Roblox. Which means, if I play Roblox, none of the games are gonna have sounds? Mm. Uh, Same thing on Twitter. We've even got some Roblox developers threatening to strike on the platform if- Strike? Bruh. If they don't change this, which um, it, it doesn't look like they are because um, I found out some stuff. And shout out to this guy what? here on Twitter, Mr. Maximum ADHD. He tweeted out and said, as I suspected, the reason Roblox is cracking down hard on music right now is because of a class action lawsuit that they were handed on behalf of several music publishers. They're mad about people using the in-game radios on Roblox because they're the, the bad word <laughs> family. Is a friendly friendly content, I guess. But since I don't know how to edit, so I can't even blur it up. Bad words. Ugh. And well, he actually found the actual legal document that Roblox got. What the mom is this? Can you guys read this for me? What? Uh, what the mom is this? Possibly read it. Read it. Uh, I don't know what it says at all. Like a couple of this sued with. Well, let's you like Spanish. Let's take a look at it. So basically, if you don't know, last year Roblox got sued for over two hundred million dollars by a bunch of music corporations. Uh, Roblox just lost two hundred million dollars. Oh my god. And we didn't really know anything that came of that, but it turns out this is what came of that. So we've got an entire legal document here. I'm just going to go through and show you the relevant parts. But basically all I know is I don't think this is Roblox's fault. I think they got sued and, well, this is actually the Music Corporation's fault for, you know, making this happen. So right here it says Roblox. So you mean this music made the whole Roblox gotta do this? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so yesterday I made a video talking. Uh, are you kidding? Copyright and music, created content, but unlicensed. You write in document here. I'm just going to go through and show you the relevant parts. But basically all I know is I don't think this is Roblox's fault. I think they got sued and, well, this is actually the music corporation's fault for, you know, making this happen. So right here it says Roblox engages in copyright infringement. Oh, copyrighted music! Infringement on a massive scale by creating a centralized... Well, I don't even know. Oh, which is copyrighted music, so how am I supposed to know, Roblox? Library of unlicensed songs. Basically, they just mean that anyone can upload songs to the catalog. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, some of these can be copyrighted, and it's hard for Roblox to catch them all. I mean, they do try. Roblox has... Well, I don't know which one's copyrighted, so we don't know. Removed copyrighted audios in the past. Obviously, they can't do everything. Well, just like with YouTube, just like with Twitch and other platforms, they can't have copyrighted music if you don't have permission. There's actually an entire paragraph here saying that obviously Roblox can do something about it, but Roblox doesn't. They have an entire platform of just user-generated content that has... Like an entire copyrighted music. How are you supposed to explain that, sir? There's a bunch of copyrighted material inside of it. Now, some of the evidence that these music corporations is using is, is pretty funny, not gonna lie. They s what do you mean funny? said here that the availability of unlicensed popular music on Roblox not only attracts paying users, but it retains them. Users regularly report that the availability of music on Roblox is what keeps them coming back. Basically, they're arguing that Roblox grew so big in part, in large part, due to this copyrighted music that they didn't have permission to use. And then they actually, for evidence, bring a customer review from Amazon that says, Hi, this is my favorite music game ever. It's the only thing I ever play. Here's my Roblox username. So as evidence of this... So you mean that tell me that this is the best music and his favorite music is that? But then he's gonna get the lyrics. Uh... 
So they basically used an eight-year-old's Amazon review for Roblox, and apparently it worked, because here we are. Now, obviously, I think this is really dumb. There's just not very many people that would go on Roblox to listen to a Taylor Swift song. They would just load up YouTube and do it. And for the people... Yeah, they just load up YouTube for copyrighted songs. That do, you know, like, these people make billions of dollars. I I is a few hundred, is a few thousand, is a few million really gonna make that much of a difference? Come on, man. Come no. But it is what it is. That's how the music companies are. I Nothing I can do about it. Basically, though, this entire document then just continues to talk about how Roblox profits and makes money off of people uploading copyrighted music to the platform. They actually talk about the boom boxes too. For anyone that doesn't know, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. Great copyrighted boom boxes. Either all the boombox game passes you bought, the jukeboxes, nah, it's not gonna work either. The radios, that's that's all going by, and apparently you're also not getting refunded for that either, so that's a big rip. Are you kidding me? Not getting refunded? You mean I spent like a thousand Robux on everything? So the unfortunate thing here is it doesn't look like there's much Roblox can really do here. I know Roblox has made a lot of really dumb updates in the past, but this seems like a pretty big no-brainer that it's kind of a bad update, and I think... This is a bad idea, Roblox. Please. Don't... Don't, don't release them. Please! Roblox knows that. It's just unfortunately they got sued, and now they are legally obligated to just remove all the copyright. Are you kidding me? Why? Why, dude? And stuff off the platform. Maybe even more. Who knows what happened with the lawsuit? I don't think everything's made publicly available. Do you guys think Roblox died? There's no way that he died. Like, there's literally a factory of people working on... This is not just one person. And the fucking accounts. In, in the Roblox account. There's like a million of people in there. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's a really rough position. I, I think Roblox could be handling this a lot better, as they always could. But at the same time, it's also not really their fault either. So what's going to happen now? Uh, Well, on March 22nd, a lot of games are going to come around. A lot of games are going to be broken. Who really knows which ones are, which ones aren't? Games like Funky Friday could just cease to exist and work correctly. It just all kind of depends. And it doesn't even look like Roblox has a lot of the answers right now because they haven't even been responding to people people on the dev forum post about it, but Bruh, is he just mad because he, he's ignoring all of them? Needless to say, this is going to be a big change on the platform. A lot of games are about- Great, a lot of games are gonna get malfunctions, and they are all gonna break! To be sounding a lot different. As always though, thank you guys so much for- Now we can see if this is a new video. Now look at this. Roblox is a, a bit made a big, big mistake. All right, like what's gonna happen to break it? What's gonna happen to all these story games? Ah! Like what's gonna happen to this? This is one of my favorite games. And yeah, no, I don't care about this one. Like what's gonna happen to Harry, dude? What's gonna happen to Harry? E Magic Show Story. Ah, uh, great. Hope at least we can say hey, a lot last goodbyes to Roblox Music Audio. Anyways, that's enough for exploring. Let's watch the first video. I think we should explore Are you kidding me, Ad? songs and sound effects on the platform. And what I mean by so this is bad, like really, really bad. For the people that don't know what's going on, basically Roblox just announced that they're making some huge changes to audio, songs, and sound effects on the platform. And what I mean by that is they're basically just deleting everything. In two weeks, most Roblox games will have no sounds, no sound effects, no music, no nothing. It'll just be completely muted. I wish I was joking. Basically, they announced that all audio that's longer than six seconds on the platform will automatically be set to private, which I've done some digging and that's like 80% of everything on Roblox. Roblox? Like the entire audio catalog just just gone. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm just gonna throw up some footage in the background of a Roblox game just so you have something to look at while you well listen Wait, to me. Tower of Hell! Oh my god! 
complain about this because this is really big. Now, since the dawn of Roblox, basically how developers have put music and sound effects and songs in their game is they've used the Roblox catalog. They went to the Roblox catalog, they searched for some audio, maybe a sound effect, maybe a song. They found that they put it in their game. As an example, that's how all the sound effects in Roblox Piggy came to be. Especially all the jump scare sounds, the ambient noises, the music, it all comes from the catalog. Meaning that when this change goes into effect, games like Piggy and pretty much every game on Roblox that pulls their audio from the catalog will just be muted. There won't be any Like everything muted. Bruh. In pretty much every game on Roblox that pulls their audio from the catalog will just be muted. There won't be any sound. What Roblox is saying that developers have to do now is re-upload all the sound effects, sounds, and songs, music that their games uses. They have to re-upload all of it to their own Roblox accounts or groups. And while the big catch is, if you don't own the music or sound effects that you use, you can no longer use them. You know how in Roblox and Twitch, copyright is a big issue? Basically, if you don't own the song or music and you put it in your video, you're going to get in big trouble? Yeah, that's basically how it's going to be on Roblox now. Using Piggy as an example, again, most of the jump scares come from the catalog. Minitune doesn't own those himself. He pulled them from the catalog and he didn't create them. Meaning that all the sound effects in Piggy, all the jump scare sounds, they're just going to be gone. Minitune can no longer use them. So basically, Roblox developers have two choices now. They can use the generic copyright free music that Roblox has provided. Like, seriously, it's really generic. It's actually pretty bad. Here, here's a sample of it. Making me laugh. What's this? A clout music? Yeah. It's just a sucker. <laughs> yeah, no Roblox dev is gonna want to use that. Or they have to prove to Roblox that they own the sound effect or song that they're uploading. Now, how does do they prove that? Well, there's actually no system to do that right now, so nobody knows. And, well, of course, a lot of these sound effects the developers don't own, so they're having to go out and, I guess, create more sound effects themselves? Like, I don't know what they're gonna do. They can't just take a sound effect online anymore and throw it in their game. That's not gonna work. But it gets worse than that, because there's two types of Roblox games on the platform. There's games owned by a single account, like Piggy and Minitune here. Minitune owns the game. It's under his account. And then there's Jailbreak, which which obviously the developers of Simo and Bad CC, but the game is technically under their Bademo group. Roblox is now also saying that any sound effects, music, any any audio, really, if the game's part of a group, it has to be uploaded to that group. A Simo has a bunch of sound effects on his personal account that Jailbreak uses, but they can no longer use that. All the sound effects have to come from the group since Jailbreak is in a group. And it's the same with Piggy. Minitune has to upload every single sound effect Piggy uses, every music file, every sound, every audio, Audio to his personal account since Piggy is on his personal account. We're talking hundreds and thousands, possibly tens of thousands of audio here. Now it gets even worse than that because some developer. Wait, and how did Mini Tune create a T E O jump scare? <laughs> <laughs> have really small restrictions. Basically, some Roblox devs are being told that they can only upload 100 audios per month. Uh -huh. I was literally just frozen. A hundred audios. A hundred motherfucking audios. I'm late. So if your game has more than 100 audios, you are screwed. Parts of your game is just going to be permanently muted until you can re-upload all the sound effects, which could take... Could take like months or years months. This is especially bad for horror games that rely on sound effects. There's some... Bro, Roblox is like... <laughs> Games you just can't play without sound. And some of these horror He's like, let's show you every game. Horror games, like the Mimic guy. Wait, that's the- that's all the games? On Earth? Bro, are you kidding me? I imagine it's just gonna be completely unplayable until this gets fixed. Older Roblox games, like this Egg Hunt from 2017, the developers no longer work on that. They're not gonna be re-uploading all the sounds of that, it's just gonna be permanently muted, it's gonna be permanently broken. And to say developers are angry about this is an understatement. People are so upset, developers especially, that the entire dev form is crashing at the moment. Every old game on Roblox is just gonna be broken. Uh, wait, how- Wait a second, how did I not heard about this news? 
Uh. and soundless, permanently muted with nothing you can do about it. It's really bad. Now, you might be thinking, why is Roblox doing this? Well, I, I, I know I complain to Roblox about everything, but this may not intentions for well, breaking copyright law, just like on YouTube and Twitch and pretty much everywhere you can't upload or use copyrighted music. And while Roblox has been doing that for years, technically, legally, they've just been getting away with it. Well, it seems like they no longer will be getting away with it. So yeah, what's going to happen now? I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I imagine lots and lots and lots of Roblox games, especially older ones that aren't actively, you know, developed anymore, broken completely. So like Tower of Hell, dude. Sound effects is gone. If it's an old horror game, you're probably not even going to be able to play it properly. And even games that are actively developed, some users may not even be able to re-upload all the sound effects in time, meaning parts of the game is just going to be permanently muted. Yeah, this is this is bad. Probably the worst update Roblox has done in uh, in a very long time. Obviously, I do a lot of piggy here on the channel, and that game's going to be kind of ruined now. Like I said, all the jump scare sounds just come from the catalog. So how's Minitune going to get all these jump scare sounds in time and even if he does how is he gonna prove that he has permission are you sure he did i gotta check me ancient's profile be right back Bruh. are you fucking kidding me okay or ownership of these sounds so that Roblox lets them use them i i, I don't know i simply don't know make sure to subscribe i'll be keeping you guys updated <laughs> I'm gonna freaking rage, Roblox!